Hi everyone, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. This week I have another one of Beltres's new city collection styles to show you. This is Santa Monica in the color Crushed Almond Blonde R. This uh, is a color that is quite a bit lighter than what I'm used to wearing and uh, I actually originally ordered this style in a different color and it was already sold out. So uh, we'll go ahead and look at this gorgeous style in this very light blonde color. Uh, and I'm sure there are many of you out there that will love this color and we'll talk all about it uh, in detail later on in the video. Uh, first, I wanted to ask if you haven't done so already, please subscribe down below, like and comment and we'll get started. So as you can see, Santa Monica here is a stick straight style with these razor cut ends that are so edgy and modern looking. Um, and this style reminds me of some other styles I've reviewed recently, uh, notably uh, Tara by Henry Margu and Leah Too by Ellen Villa. And we'll talk a little bit more about the similarities and differences later in the video. Let's go ahead and look at the details for this style. So what we have here, as I said, are stick straight fibers all around. Um, it's a beautiful bob style and depending on your head size, you know, that will affect how long this style appears on you. I have a 22 inch head circumference. All my measurements are listed in the description box so you can compare them to your own. But I just love an edgy, you know, blunt cut bob like this with these razor cut ends and uh, it just makes me feel very youthful and edgy and uh, also the fibers tend to last a little longer because the length uh, doesn't experience too much friction against your clothing. So I love that. So let's go ahead and look at the details. I did want to mention I have played with this part a little bit. I don't have uh, any silicone scar tape under here yet, uh, which we will do together. And as you can see, Right now, she is flopping in my face quite a bit and I will want to steam her away from the face so we get less of that. So um, let's go ahead and look at the details. We have that extended lace front that runs from here to here on me. Not at all a dense hairline, um, very subtle, very delicate looking knots and the lighter fibers in the front. Um, I do find that it's just a little sparse here, but if you're wearing it to the side, I don't think that bothers me. Um, and then we have that parting space and we'll look more at that later. That is a left mono part. And then, yeah, you just have these gorgeous stick straight fibers all around. Let's go ahead and look at that. Here we are from the right and the back. See the movement and the left. So yes, um, just a gorgeous stick straight modern style in these 12 new beautiful Beltress colors. And uh, next we will go ahead and we'll do some steaming. We'll steam these fibers away from the face and steam a new part line in place. And then we'll go over the cap construction. We'll look at some styling options for this beautiful style. I'll take her outside so we can get a good look at this beautiful color in natural light and then we'll go over final thoughts. So she's on my blockhead here and uh, I want to go ahead and steam these fibers. Um, I did change that part line so that it's exactly where I want it to be and we will steam the part line in place first so that it stays in place when you take the wig off and put her back on and also steam the fibers away from the face a little bit so that they don't fall forward as much. Um, I have a video on my channel all about how I like to steam style my synthetic and heat friendly synthetic wigs um, and I will leave a link to that in the description box down below. This is the iSteam steamer that I like to use. This is just a little handheld clothes steamer that I purchased from Amazon and I'll leave that in the description box as well. So let's go ahead and get started. When you're steaming, be sure to direct the steam at the fibers, not at the delicate lace front or monofilament portions of the cap. Keep your steamer moving. Don't leave it in any one place for more than three seconds. And as you can see, I like to create two sections on the right hand side when I'm doing my steaming. You can create however many sections uh, you need to create the results you want. All right, I think that should do it. 
Now I'm going to let these fibers cool completely so the new style can set and I'll put her back on my head and we'll see if we like the results. So the fibers are nice and cool to the touch now and we're ready to go ahead and remove the clips and see if we like the results. Absolutely, that's what I like. I think this is much better. You just have a little lift, a little swoop here. The fibers just move away from the face. Lovely. Let's go ahead and do the test and make sure she's not a face flopper anymore. Here we go. Once, twice. You can see, of course, some fibers still will move forward uh, and we'll uh, look at some styling options later if you want to really completely keep fibers from doing that. Um, but I think for me, this works very well and I love this look. I just think uh, this looks so natural and will bother me less uh, with the fibers falling forward. So, so let's talk briefly about two other styles that remind me of Santa Monica. Uh, as I mentioned, they include Leah Tu by Ellen Villa and Tara by Henry Margu. All three styles are bob styles with a low density, really uh, light density fibers and uh, are very stick straight, have these razor cut ends. All three I find are similar. There are a few differences. I would say Leah Tu uh, by Ellen Villa is probably the most similar to this style. Um, because they are similar lengths. They are uh, both made with heat-friendly synthetic fibers um, and you have a left mono part and an extended lace front and open wefts in the back and on the sides on both styles. So they're very similar in both length and cap construction. Also in the back, both of those styles have a very stick straight, you know, blunt cut um, and so they're quite similar. Uh, I do think also that both manufacturers like to uh, have lighter fibers along the front hairline, which creates that soft hairline that I love. So very similar, definitely some different color options for you. But if this is a style you're interested in, I highly recommend looking at both to make sure you get exactly what you want. It's wonderful that we have so many choices. And then the second style I actually still have here. This is Tara by Henry Margu. I reviewed her recently. And um, she's also similar in that she has these razor cut, you know, very straight fibers, especially in the front. But there are some differences now with this style. Um, she's a little bit shorter and it's hard to compare because my head is quite a bit larger than this mannequin. Um, but if you look at the back on Tara, you see you have a very rounded sort of tapered shape in the back that you don't have on uh, this style and also on Leah too. So that's a difference. I would also say Tara is a little bit shorter than the other two styles. Um, and if you look at the measurements online, you can see that uh, she's listed as being shorter as well. Then uh, the cap construction is slightly different. You have a full mono top on Terra and on Santa Monica, you have a left mono part. Uh, also, these are synthetic fibers, not heat friendly synthetic fibers like we have on Santa Monica and Leah too. Uh, I'm trying to remember if I covered everything. Um, also uh, on Terra, I do just want to mention, you see at the lace front, we don't have light fibers like we do on the other two styles. So those are some of the differences, but I, Terra is such a pretty style. I just love this shape in the back, especially. Um, that is just so flattering and, and sweet looking, I think. So lots of options. Uh, if you're interested in synthetic versus heat friendly synthetic, maybe some different colors and a slight difference in length, uh, you should be able to find uh, a similar style that is uh, to your liking. So next we'll go ahead and we'll talk about the cap construction. First, I'll remove the piece of silicone scar tape that I like to use to help create a natural scalp appearance under the mono part where otherwise my dark bio hair might peek through. I like to use the AWD Medical silicone scar sheets. I purchased them on Amazon and I'll leave that in the description box down below. So what we have here is a left mono part. Uh, there's a little bit of room to move the part around, uh, but it is a dedicated left part. And then we have an extended lace front that comes about mm, a third or halfway down the ear tabs 
on both sides as you can see and I love that feature because this allows you to style the wig away from the face and still have that appearance of hair growth all along the extended lace front so I'm a huge fan of that feature and I love that we have soft ear tabs with metal stays an extended nape for a bit of extra coverage and a velcro style adjusters now i have a 22 inch circumference head and this cap fits me very comfortably as you can see i could still tighten or loosen uh, these adjusters so i think she would fit a variety of head sizes uh, I checked the style for permatees and I found no permatees whatsoever. Malibu that I reviewed previously was the same way, very light density, no permatees whatsoever. So I'm thinking possibly the entire city collection is a uh, very light density with no permatees, but this is the second one I've tried. So uh, stay tuned. We'll see uh, what I think of other styles that I might try. Um, so absolutely a beautiful cap construction at a nice price point with the features that are essential for me and uh, so I'm very pleased with this cap construction. So let's look at some styling options. With a modern and edgy bob like this I would really want to show off these razor cut ends and beautiful bob style as much as possible but if you're wearing a style like this and you need to keep fibers completely away from your face if you're cooking or working in the yard or whatever the case may be you do need some options and thankfully you have a few with this length um, first I would try the ear tuck I always like to do a half ear tuck on the right side I think that's a cute look and you can absolutely do that with this density um, and then here on the left I like to do more of a full tuck now I will say that um, with this color and we'll get a good look at the color outside in natural light but I believe this is either a light brown or a dark blonde rooting um, and my bio hair the little bit that's showing here this let me lift the ear tab so you do have some rooting here near the ear tab but um, this is my dark brown bio hair showing and I would want to disguise that if I were to wear the style like this which I think is a cute look so I like to use the Color Wow Root Powder. Uh, I purchased this on Amazon and I'll leave it in my description box down below. Uh, and it comes with a little applicator. This is in the color blonde. And so I just would take a little bit of that powder and just apply it directly to my bio hair. You can also apply a little bit to, this, to the wig and blend it in. And this really helps create applied quite a bit it just brushes off um, but this way you can blend any bio hair that you might have showing with the wig and create a very realistic look I think so I love that trick and I have used that quite a bit whether it be with a red wig or a blonde wig there we go I think that is a good look and if you need to of course you can pull some fibers down and disguise any lines you might see okay so let's go ahead uh, I have a couple more things to show you um, this is a little claw clip sometimes I like to just pull some fibers back in the front here with a little claw clip and that's a cute look too and this completely keeps fibers out of your face uh, and then you can just revert back to the original style very easily and lastly let's look at a headband This also allows me to show you exactly what kind of coverage I'm getting from the style. So uh, as we said, we have an extended lace front that runs from here to about here on me. And then the ear tabs, let's see, they fall here on me. Uh, really a nice amount of coverage on this style, more so than I'm used to. Um, I always have a little bit of bio hair showing because I should show you on this side without the powder. Um, because I have a fairly low hairline so I'm used to that but um, here if I lift that up and pull it back down and I'll just run my finger along where that ear tab is this is really a nice amount of coverage so next we'll go outside and we'll get a good look at this beautiful color in natural light this is crushed almond R the R stands for rooting and uh, this is a new color for Beltrassa City collection uh, and is definitely the lightest blonde I've ever tried um, in fact 
I think it almost reads white. It is a very cool toned, light platinum blonde, I would say. Um, the rooting is a little bit warmer, and I would say this is probably a darker blonde rooting, um, which is wonderful because very often you see these blonde shades, very light blonde even, with extremely dark rooting, and that contrast can be a little off-putting to some. So I think this is a wonderful shade to be using for a root for this light platinum blonde. Um, so very well done on that. And you can see that you definitely have some different tones blended throughout the style. You know, the lighter platinum blonde. And then I wouldn't really call it gold, probably more beige blonde. Uh, I'm not a color expert. I've been learning a lot about color, but uh, I think that's, that's how I see it. And it reads quite cool to me or definitely neutral leaning cool. Um, so a beautiful color. Let's look at all the details. Again, we have the lace front with the lighter fibers in the front, which helps create a soft hairline and delicate knots. As I mentioned at the beginning, I do think it's just a little sparse in the front here, but when I wear it to the side, which, you know, with a side part, of course, that's what you're going to do, um, then it doesn't bother me. So I think it works uh, for the way I'm wearing her. And um, then you have that left mono part. There you go. And I have the silicone scar tape under there to help create scalp appearance. So let's get a good look at this color from all sides. Here she is from the right. Beautiful movement. And the left. All right, I think uh, this is absolutely a gorgeous color. And if you're going modern and wearing stick straight, then why not platinum blonde as well? So love the color. And next we'll go inside and go over final thoughts. Santa Monica from Beltress's uh, New City Collection is definitely a, just a beautiful, low density, edgy, modern bob style with these stick straight fibers throughout, including in the back. And uh, this just makes me feel very youthful and uh, fashionable and I think is a really fun style. I love Beltress's heat friendly synthetic fibers. I love the fact that there's no permatease on uh, this style. And the features are wonderful with the extended lace front and the left mono part, very realistic there. So really well done, cap construction and style and fibers. This color uh, is new to me, and of course this is not my usual color. Uh, I normally wear brunettes, uh, and this is a very light platinum blonde, but I can appreciate the beauty of it. Uh, it's striking, it has some dimension with some you know, more beige tones and with the platinum blended together. And then this probably dark blonde rooting that uh, I think uh, is quite natural looking, not at all too extreme of a change between the rooting to the rest of the fibers. So I think that is really well done. Um, and of course, if you have any darker bio hair showing, then I think it really helps to have some rooting on the style. Um, in addition to that, just looking very natural. So a beautiful style, a beautiful color. I can't wait to try more of the City Collection. And I hope, as always, that my review has been helpful and informative, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.